So now that the lawn is removed, we've completed the irrigation retrofit. We've added some new soil. We put in our bender board and we're getting ready for the final stages to prep for our permeable concrete pour, which will be happening in a couple days from now. And some of the things I like about permeable concrete is one, you can dye it a bunch of different colors. I think it has a much more interesting texture than regular concrete does. That texture is actually what allows it to be permeable, allows the water flow through it. And we're gonna be going with this kind of sandstone color. And actually it's designed to mimic DG. And so from initial appearances, it'll look like a decomposed granite pathway or patio without all the downsides of DG, which is the tracking, it washes away over time. This gets all the benefits of the looks and appearance without those downsides of usability. One of the cool things that we're gonna do as well too is we're gonna be blending in these steps within our permeable concrete patio to kind of blend in with the existing flagstone and the flagstone in the rest of the backyard. So the goal is to make it kind of seem and feel seamless to the rest of the garden, even though it's a new feature. So it should be an exciting retrofit and we're gonna create a beautiful outdoor space for them for some chairs and a new fire pit's gonna go right here and the new barbecue's gonna go behind me.